Sexual harassment has negative effects on the physical and psychological well-being of the victim. And therefore it's not only a violation of the human right to live free of violence, but also a barrier to effectiveness in the workplace. At a global level, one of the industries most affected by sexual harassment is tourism. Although the contribution of this industry to the generation of jobs is of utmost importance for the well-being of the population, it's essential to ensure that those jobs are safe and decent. Hello and welcome everybody to Mexico News Network's The Travel Insider. I'm Elliot Bullman. Let's start with today's information. According to data released by the International Labour Organization in 2013, women are highly represented in the tourism sector, accounting for 60 to 70 percent of the labour force. A study that same year, Sexual Harassment of Women Workers in the Tourism Sector by academics Carla Perezini Villarreal from the Universidad Iberoamericana and Arlette Korabkovarubias at the Colegio Mexiquense focused on the working conditions of women in four tourism centers in Mexico, Acapulco, Cancun, Tepoztlan, and the historical center of Mexico City. It turned out that in each of these tourist sites, the employees were harassed, not only by supervisors and colleagues, but also mainly by clients, both Mexican and foreign. This harassment was verbal, nonverbal, and physical. In addition, they encountered harassment was prevalent in various tourism-related occupations, including waitresses, vendors, taxi drivers and guides, to name but a few, as well as working establishments pertaining to all kinds of luxury category. In Mexico, cases of sexual harassment against women exceed 25,000 cases per year, but only 40% of cases are reported, according to estimates by the Secretariat of Public Function. And on the global scale, 12 million women are harassed, according to the International Labour Organization. So alarming is the scale of abuse that it's sufficient for Europe to consider the issue as a labour risk in its labour legislation. In Mexico, this status has not yet been achieved, but the problem certainly exists. The vulnerability of women to harassment is heightened in the tourism sector due to the friendly and cordial treatment that female workers have to employ with clients, of which some people take advantage. Also, the sexual objectification of women that some companies use to attract clients, the consumption of alcohol in some establishments, and the physical isolation of some workers, such as hotel mates, are all characteristics that heighten the risk. The fears of recrimination or the possible dismissal from their work are the two main reasons why this crime goes unchecked and unpunished. The increase of incidences of sexual harassment is definitely tied to social norms. Some men working in management roles actually believe that women are responsible for not making themselves vulnerable for this type of behavior, and far too many organizations fail to train supervisors on how to deal with this issue. It's noteworthy that this is not the only research on the gender gap in the tourism industry. Since in 2011, the Colegio de México published the economic analysis of the labor market in the tourism sector towards a policy of equality between men and women. In this report, Colmex pointed out that the tourism sector is the one that employs most women, with a higher education level, with 41% of the recruited staff being college-educated females. But 92% of them have a subordinate position, especially as hotel maids, waitresses and hostesses, and not as employers. Furthermore, occupations with less female representation across all sectors are the managerial occupations in cultural services, recreation, restaurants, lodging and commerce. In addition, according to this study, the tourism sector is the one with the highest wage inequality between the sexes, since while men receive an average of almost 30 pesos per hour, women who carried out the same activities and with a greater degree of vulnerability to being victims of violence and abuse, received only 20.97 pesos. It's true that tourism is a great job generator that benefits from the female image and that it's based on having a friendly nature and service-oriented disposition. However, let's be 100% clear. There's no case for ambiguity here and employers have a responsibility to protect their staff and strictly enforce the law whenever necessary. 
They also have a responsibility to inform workers on how to report these situations to detect the problem early. Sexual harassment is a crime and nothing can ever justify it. Thank you for watching. I'm Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow all our latest news on our social media networks and on mexiconewsnetwork.com. Have a great day.